Woo! What's going on, guys? Orms Form coming at you guys today with another video. And uh, I wanted to get this video out of the way here. Um, you know, this happened yesterday. Uh, the NFL cracked down on the Detroit Lions. Um, the Lions broke a rule, and the hammer comes down. <laughs> Not really the hammer, but gotcha. But um, they did get a little bit of a penalty. Now, this happened between like May 25th and the 27th. Um, there were some reporters there, I believe, and stuff like that. Uh, there were pictures taken, whatever. Um, but no contact. That's what the rule was. Now, that's the message the Lions organization got yesterday for violating a rule under the co collective bargaining agreement, the NFLPA, the National Football League Players Association. The Lions were hitting during OTAs, making contact with, with players, non-contact, it's supposed to be non-contact, OTAs are supposed to be strictly non-contact. You know, you got your helmets on, you got no shells on, uh, pads, nothing like that, jerseys, you don't have your, you, and, and you're pretty much wearing shorts. So there's no contact. And there's a lot of different rules now in, in the NFL on, on how these guys are supposed to operate. So they were hitting, whatever. Um, and the NFL found out violating off-season player work rules. That's what it was. The penalty, they got docked a day of practice next week. I think there's still phase three about to happen coming up. And we'll get into that too, hopefully, uh, um, during the week. I, I, I can uh, report that out when I get my report from, from those other guys. When I, when I read stuff online from, from guys like John Macaron, Tim Twentyman. You know, Jeremy Reisman, all, all, all my go-to guys. And um, I'll have that out. But the penalty men, they get docked the day of practice, June 10th. It's a Monday. So they get a long weekend. You know, um, there's a lot of fans out there that don't like this, that are that are furious with the league. You know, um, calling whoever did it, like whoever blew the whistle, um, should be cut or should be banned from... Banned from Allen Park, banned from Ford Field, you know, you know, know the rules. Like, like you should know the rules as a coach, and because the players do, you know, like most of the players do anyways. But who told, right? Like who told? Who ratted? Who was the one who went out and, and said, "Hey, man, they're they're working us too hard. Under the rules, we're not supposed to be doing this." No idea. I don't have a clue. There's speculation out there that it could be a couple guys. It could be a reporter. It could be somebody within the organization. Now, like I said earlier, reporters were present during the May, during the May practices of 25th, 27th. I don't know if it was all for three days because they do limit that. There's 7 on 7s. There's 11 on 11s going on. There's some tussles were happening. You know, some fights, some pushes, pushing and shoving. But if you didn't know... If you didn't know, linebacker Jalen Reeves Maben, who's on the Lions, is the new NFLPA president. So it's his job to report any type of violation and or listen to any players that have concerns. So me, myself, I'll get it out of the way. I'm a pro-union guy, by the way. I work in a pro-union factory. Um, I pretty much my whole factory working life I've worked under unions and they're good I know a lot of people don't like unions I know they don't you know but they do help big time they help guys that you know um, real good medical care you know they help they help just people in general I mean better pay better medicals all that type of stuff now I know a lot of people think well unions are just out to like save the bad guys that don't want to work. That's not necessarily true. Is it true in some circumstances? Sure. But a union, and I think if you have a really strong union, you have a really strong tie with with that union and with, and with your with your uh, uh, fellow members. So I think I think unions are good. You know, in most situations, I really do. Better pay, better medicals, like I already said, and it, and it can help you out if you're in dire need of some serious help, mental issues, all that stuff. Right now, I'm going through it. 
right now I'm going through. Got the shoulder thing going on. My union helps me. Got manual life. I get you know I, I get all kinds of help um, through that because of having a union. That's it helps me out. I have a ripped up shoulder. Can't do what 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 I want to do. I can't work, so I'm off for a, a while until I get surgery. So that's because of having a strong union and, and getting those ties. But back to football, you know. So I don't have an issue with players reporting this or going to Goodell or whoever they went to. You know, obviously you're going to the Goodell or you're just taking care of it as yourself. But we have a president in the building, and Jalen Reeves Maven, who's a brand new president. So he probably knows the book off by heart, obviously. He's one of those guys, union guy. So he's going to have to know the rules. And either he took it upon himself to report this violation, or he was told by another player, a reporter, a journalist, beat writer, whoever told him. And he did his job, and he went out and he told, and he, and he reported the violation, and they lost a practice because of it. You know, they exaggerated a bit when I said the hammer came down, but, you know, hey, that's, that, that's the hammer. Now, there's people out there that are furious about this. Some people, it, it's a day of practice. Now, if you're going to be mad at anybody, if you're going to be mad at anybody, be mad at the coaching staff. Really, I'm not, I'm not saying fire anybody. Fire them, I'm not, I'm not. No, no, no. But if you're, going to, if you're going to direct your anger towards somebody here, direct it towards Campbell. Direct it towards the coaching staff. They should know better. You can't be hitting during OP, OTAs. That's the rules. I know people, hey, I'm a, I'm a rule breaker myself. I've broken many rules many times in my lifetime. And I've paid for it many times in my lifetime. I've gotten away with some stuff. But, you know, in particular, if you get caught, you get caught. Don't blame anybody but yourself. And this is the same thing. I haven't really heard what Campbell has said. I know there was, he was... He came out and said that they scheduled a nine-day practice out of ten because they obviously got penalized by the NFL for this. For they docked the practice. I haven't really heard what he said about the particular incident. I haven't really read anything. Maybe I missed it or something. If somebody can tell me, but he needs to take accountability for this. This is his. This is his fault. It, it's one hundred percent his fault. Him and his coaching staff. It just is. Like, how they were hitting, what they were doing, I don't really know. I know I look and I do the reports myself on my channel. You know, they don't have any pads. Okay, they don't have any pads. They don't have any, the, they don't have the leg pads, the knee pads, the thigh pads. They got helmets, though. There is a little bit of hand, hands-on stuff, you know, that, that they are allowed to get away with. Like, some little bit of hand fighting here and there. So who knows what it was that happened. I know it's tough to really get a good physical physical practice going without pads, but something happened. Something happened. You, you have to be really careful nowadays because it will be reported. So they lost. They lost a day's practice because of it. And this happens in the, this happens in the entire NFL. You go look at the Baltimore Ravens, it happens to them every every other year, it seems like. The Ravens. It's the first team, first thing that can, that kind of came to my mind, and it's other teams. It happens, you know. Rules are rules. You just got to be careful, you know. So don't don't direct your anger at anybody, like the players, the a reporter. I don't think it was a reporter. I I wouldn't think it would be, but who knows? I don't I, I don't know, and I'm not placing any blame on anybody here. It's all speculation. I don't know if it was Jalen Reeves Maven, but if it was, it's his job to report it. He's the president of the NFLPA. He represents the players, and he's on Detroit Lions. He's the brand new president. I don't know who it was before. I can't remember. But it's Jalen Reeves Maven now. Smart individual, smart man, knows the rule book, guaranteed, and it, it, it could have been him. I wouldn't be surprised. Now, is it going to come out? Don't know. Don't know. Don't care, really. But I did want to. I did want to talk about this because I just think you know, it's it's just, it's it's a little boneheaded. I think on the organization. It's just be smarter, like be smarter. Know what you're getting yourself into. Know what you're doing during practice. 
Don't let it get carried away. And if it does get carried away with the hand fighting and the pushing and the shoving and the contact, put it to bed. Put it to rest immediately. That's what it, that's what should have been done, and maybe that wasn't the case. Now, because I don't think guys are going to go out there and, and, and bitch and moan about maybe just going at it, maybe a little bit, you know, a little bit of hand fighting, a little bit of pushing, you know, some contact here and there. If it, you know, if it kind of gets put to bed, but obviously it wasn't, and it was, and, and somebody said something. And I don't have any fault in that. I don't have any, I'm not faulting anybody for that. Any player. Coaches need to know better, especially Campbell. He needs to know better. I know he can't be in every single unit at once because, you know, a head coach, they kind of go from head, you know, from from unit to unit, wherever they kind of want to hang out. Now, he's an offensive guy that he's not an X and O's type guy, but who knows where he was during that. Maybe he wasn't even present. Maybe he wasn't even at that little area where they were beating each other up. But he needs to be a little bit, he needs to be smarter in that situation. And his whole coaching staff does. So it's him and the coaching staff. If I'm going to get mad at anybody, and I'm not mad, but if I was to direct my anger towards someone or some some type of position, area, like some type of coaching position, it'd be all of, it, it's, it's all of the guys. All of them. Put the, all of them together. Be smarter. Know what you're getting into. Stop what's going on if, if you think it's getting too carried away. Know the rules. Basically what I'm saying, in quotations, know the rules. And if you don't know them, brush up on them. Brush up on them. Pick up a book. Because you should be thumbing through your union book. You just should be. So that's it, guys. That's the video. Probably talked about it too long, 12 minutes. We're going on 12 minutes. So, hey, the Lions got docked. One day of practice, they get a long weekend. They get nine out of ten practices. You know, not going to put them behind the eight balls. Not going to hurt them in any type of way. But be smarter. Thanks a lot, guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the bottom right. Don't forget to hit the notification bell up top. Don't forget to like, share, comment this video. What do you guys think? Are you mad? Are you sad? Don't care. Hey, thanks a lot, guys. I really appreciate it. Detroit versus everybody. One pride. Go Lions. Boom.